Oh, here we go. So, the biggest thing on the planet right now is a, well, biggest thing in my little world on the planet right now is the entire ADOS um, uh, movement. I don't know if you really call it a movement uh, thing, you know. Um, I call it the Call the jump theory. You know, if everybody does this at one time, you know, you jump up one time, you fall, you, you come back down, everybody hits the earth and then it shakes the earth. This is one of those moves that's going to shake the earth. It's interesting. Um, let me just um, uh, start by this. Um, last year, now two years ago, a year and a half, yeah, almost uh, almost two years ago, yeah, like 18 months, something like that, um, ago when, when I first heard about, uh, maybe longer than when I first heard about Black Panther, I sense I said, wow, this is interesting. And so I really just try to pay a lot of attention to it. So I just put my glasses, I'm not talking to you about this one. I gotta have my glasses on. So there we go. Um, and so when this when, when this happened, I said, well, this is a this is an interesting movement because it, it, the interesting thing about, about the whole Black Panther thing and, and, and people forget the, well, the whole Wakanda thing is that you had a, almost like a, a, a collective consciousness coming together on this particular land. Yeah, of course there were people when it came out that they you know they they, they trashed it or whatever whatever they were doing. A lot of people, most people, it was like a momentum. It was a, a critical mass hit, and that's why Black Panther was so so powerful. Forget, forget, forgive the dogs barking in the neighborhood. And this is where I'm in the township. I'm in the location. Anyway, chickens, you know, cows, whatever it is, because I'm in the Eastern Cape of Southern Africa right now. Anyway, ah. chocolate chai tea with moringa in it. Very good for you. Anyway, so I sensed this thing. So, um, and, and lo and behold, it became a, well, a worldwide phenomenon. Now, What's more interesting uh, right now is because in, in that time period, and a little bit before that, mm -hmm. Yvette Cornell and, um, and Antonio Moore were working on um, the uh, DOS, uh, Descendant of, of, of Slaves movement. Then it morphed to American Descendant of Slavery. This is how it, it goes. You keep on growing. It's still growing right now. So all the things that's happening is going to be uh, quite interesting. But uh, the big uh, knock on it right now, not knock on it, but you know, people, uh, criti uh, criticism, on it, if you will, has to do with um, uh, with other uh, uh, black people on the planet saying, "Hey, but that's unfair. You're not including us." Blah blah blah. Whatever they whatever they're saying, but but I don't think people really understand what's going on. It's the American descendant of slavery, American descendants of that institution. Okay. So and I usually say when I write it down, I. This is writing it out because of modern, you know, um, um, stuff that you can do on a computer. I usually put A D capital A D O S, and then I have a, 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 a parenthesis. Then I have a parenthesis. Let me take out my. my. Then I have a parenthesis. We have anything. Uh, so it would be um, A D O S. Right, and uh, then well, uh, the, the the bracket, the open bracket, right, and then in the open bracket, then I put, then I have this, I put a dash, I put north, another dash like that. Now when that happens, you have the space there, you have A B S, and you have this dash, the space dash north, capital N or dash. Then what happens if you have another space there? That becomes a strike through, okay, All right. North descendants of chattel. Then when I do chattel, I need more space here. I do the same thing with chattel. I don't know how you spell chattel. I do the same thing. Uh, and then slavery at the end. Right. So it would be a uh, um, uppercase A D O S uh, space slash. I mean dash north dash space descendants of descendant of whatever it is space dash chattel dash space slavery close bracket so when you read it it's it, it's, it's american american oh north oh i'm sorry i left out the american Oof, sorry about that 
shall be a North Space American descendant of channel slavery. So I don't have the whole thing like that. So, so, so it really is American descendant of channel slavery. Then I have the strikeouts between North, clarifying that, and chattel, clarifying that. So that's how I do it. You know, when I'm writing it out, when I'm just saying it's American ADOS or sometimes DOS or whatever it is. Now, it's what's important about this is that if you, if say for instance you, uh, you're Haitian, you know. Just to pick a country, then you would say um, either you would say Haitian. I guess you would say Haitian descendant of of slavery. Okay, you can say well, I don't know if you have chattel slavery there, and they had chattel slavery, then it would be that, um, or it would be uh, say um, Nigerian, Nigerian descendant of colonialism. See, because it's different over in Europe, you know, or um, you know, it could be. Um, 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 uh, Senegalese descendant of colonialism. Okay, or you can do, you know, a Zimbabwean descendant of colonialism, Malawian descendant of colonialism, Nigerian descendant, you know, the whole, I said Nigerian, right? But you know, Kenyan descendant of, 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 of slavery, uh, Cameroonian descendant of slavery. That you can keep on going, whatever you just put that in. That means that you, know, you have to first, uh, slavery, of colonialism. So if you're, if you're in colonialism, then you have to go to the the country that colonized you, you know, say we're in South Africa, they gotta go to, I guess they gotta go to, you know, the Germans, they gotta go to the, um, the, the what do you call that, the, um, the ho people from Holland, you know, Netherlands, uh, they gotta go to France, a little bit of France, because of, well, it doesn't matter, and of course the English, you know, so you'd go to them for your, for your reparations, because this American descendant of, of chattel slavery, has to do with this restitution that, that uh, to, to begin to restore us in the light of our experience in, in North America, in the United States of North America. So therefore, our beef is not with, you know, England or with France or Belgium, you know, the Congos that go to Belgium, you know. Our beef is with the United States. That's where, where we are. So if you uh, went through that thing and you have lineage in that, then that means that that's where your beef is. If you have a, if you have, if you're, you know, if you're in Brazil, you know what I mean, um, br um, um, Brazilian descendant of slavery, then you would have to go to Portugal. You see, like that. Same thing for you know Venezuela, where where wherever you're, because remember there's black people over there. Wherever you're, uh, Colombia, um, uh, Peru, doesn't matter where the black people are. You're a descendant of whatever say would be, um, 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 whatever Peruvian slavery, and then then you would have restitution from Spain, for instance. You see, so that's how it goes. I hope that's clear to everybody. So. so I need to clarify, clarify that because a lot of people, I mean, you know, see the. the, the, the the, the people who started this movement, Yvette Cornell and, uh, and Antonio Moore, they've been working on this for like two, three years. You know what I mean? And I've been following Yvette for almost three years. I think I, I've been following Yvette since um, since she since she was with with, with hanging with well, hanging with Boyce, but um, she was under Boyce's channel, uh, uh, Boyce Dr. Boyce Barkin, and uh, what really uh, really paid attention when she had that uh, beef, but had to think with Farrakhan. She was saying something about Farrakhan and his you know, incomplete, whatever he was thinking with Farrakhan. And then they had somebody else trying to refute her, whatever it is. So I've been following her since then. Even when when she had her own thing happening, then when she went to um, when she was with Army, because I used to follow Army because he's a philosopher because of his philosophy posts. You know, what I mean, I'm interested in these kind of weird things. And so when they got together, I said, "Oh, this is interesting," because I saw them walking to some conference, you know, t together. And then a few weeks later, they got and did start doing the show together. And then finally, she got her own studio. You know, so so then then she then then of course they had been working with Antonio Moore for all this time. So they did keep on the, um, advancing this thing of American descendant of chattel slavery. Well, some, um, I'm gonna go into a, a, a longer one. Uh, in fact, let me stop here because uh, I just wanted to clarify that. And I'm gonna go into a longer thing ex explaining to Mike uh, what I think about this whole this whole movement. So that's it. Hope that clarifies you. That we are uh, uh, American descendant of chattel slavery. One of the things that maybe upset people. Uh, too, but there's a lot of things you have to do in this in this movement. It's just uh, let's just leave it right there for now, okay? American descendant of chattel slavery because we are Americans, you know, bunch of, bunch of other things too, amalgamation, you know what it is. But um, we've been damaged, like my man in Cape Town, Tulane would say, you know, we all damaged, but we've been damaged, but we was damaged 
directly by the American experience. So we have to petition American experience to have our reciprocity. Now, if you didn't, if you're not of that American experience, through all those things we're talking from slavery to the, the antebellum to the whole uh, the whole uh, Jim Crow, you know, lynching, the whole you didn't go through that whole thing. Just say to 1965, whatever it is, you know, this this this. Post 1965, pre 1965. We're talking about pre 1965. That's your lineage. Comes through that. Then that's what it is. Show you the stuff in here. Maybe I'll do the other one. When I say lineage. I do mean lineage. You know. Now I'm gonna show this in my other thing. But this is the thing that I did a long time ago. Maybe not a long time ago. It's called. I have a list of a thing called the uh, my cultural, intellectual, spiritual lineage. My cultural, intellectual, and spiritual lineage. And then I want to say about all these uh, institutions and people, uh, individuals, uh, two pages, that that influence that. And I'll go through that in the next post. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for listening. This has been T from the Patterson is taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about ADOS.